If your iPhone is lost or stolen, you can turn on lost mode like this then find my iPhone on iCloud.com so that others cannot access your personal information. But when you find it or report it as lost accidentally, how can you turn it off? It's actually quite easy to do that. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you three different ways to quit lost mode with or without the passcode or Apple ID. So let's get started. At best, if you found the device eventually, you can simply get out of lost mode like this. Yes, just the passcode, then everything is back. If the device is not with you, you can stop lost mode remotely on iCloud.com. Enter your Apple ID and password. Head to find iPhone. Click all devices on the top bar. Select your iPhone. Then go ahead and stop lost mode. See, your device is out of lost mode now. Moving on, if you forgot the passcode and Apple ID, here is how to turn it off and start afresh using iTunes and For Me key. So once you open iTunes up, connect your phone to the computer, then put it into recovery mode. For iPhone 10 or later, is press and quickly release the volume up button, then press and quickly release the volume down, then press and hold the side button till you see the connect to laptop icon. Now proceed with the restore option in iTunes. Download the firmware. Then here we go. If iTunes is giving you errors, Foro Key will be a nice alternative. So once completed, your device will show you the hello screen. Now let's head to the activation lock screen so we can bypass it. Here we are. To bypass this, we'll be using a tool called For Me Key. There's a link in the description below if you'd like to download. So once you open it up, make sure your iPhone is still connected with the computer. Then head to the Remove iCloud Activation Lock section. Follow the on-screen instruction to download the jailbreak tool. Then insert an empty USB thumb drive into the computer. Once detected, hit Start to create the jailbreak drive. Once done, you'll see a guide showing you step-by-step step how to complete the jailbreak on Windows. You can scan the QR code here to view the guide on your other iPhone or iPad. So let's now restart the computer. When it boots up, press F12 key to enter the boot option. Then boot your computer from the UEFI hard drive. Then we'll see the check green jailbreak wizard. Make sure your iPhone is still connected at this point. Then you should see the device information right here. It says the iOS is not supported at this point. No worries, we should head to the option first. Check off allow untested iOS and skip a 11 BRP check. Then go ahead and quit back. Now it says iPhone is only partially supported. That's fine, let's proceed. The device will be put into recovery mode first. Press next to confirm. Once in, press start. Then quickly follow the instructions to put your iPhone into DFU mode before the countdown is over. For an iPhone 10, is press and hold both the side and volume down button for 4 seconds. Then let go of the side button but continue holding the volume down for another 10 seconds. Once in DFU mode, you'll see the jailbreak code running on your device. Well done! Now let's reboot the computer and open For Me key to start over. This time you'll get right to the device information page. Go ahead and start remove. It'll be done within a minute. Okay, now it says the removal is successful. Let's go ahead and check it out. When you see this data and privacy option, you know you have exited the lost mode. Let's move on. Make sure not to create passcode, touch ID or face ID, and skip signing in your own Apple ID when you got here. Then you can proceed to the home screen. Then in settings, you'll see that the Apple account has been signed out, and apparently, it's no longer in lost mode. That's it. Thanks for watching. I hope this video helps you guys. Have a nice day. See you in the next video.